Hi, I'm Pete Oswald. And I'm Sam Oswald. And we're here to share some information about Sam Jam, a popular music event in Carlinville, Illinois. Sam discovered that he had neurofibromatosis when he was only four years old, along with the diagnosis of scoliosis. Following a spinal, uh, spinal fusion surgery and a uh, lengthy recovery in a body cast lying immobile in bed, uh, Sam uh, recovered and was able to continue on through grade school, even though he still carried that diagnosis of NF. Uh, life was good until he was in fifth grade, and that's when Sam began to encounter some other symptoms. Since that time, Sam has had two brain tumors, some additional shunt revisions associated with the brain tumors, uh, knee constructive surgery, eye surgery, uh, some bone grafting on his legs, uh, and eight years ago, uh, following some pain in his leg, was diagnosed with a malignant peripheral nerve sheath tumor located in his sciatic nerve in his thigh. Uh, following two surgeries and some pretty intense radiation and chemotherapy, uh, Sam was noted as being cancer free. And at that time, uh, Sam's older brother, Peter, and myself decided we should have a celebration, a public celebration to, to celebrate Sam's successful medical treatment. And so in 2014, we held the first Sam Jam Music and Brew Fest uh, that involved six bands and, and uh, uh, beverages and food and a wonderful event. And the community turned out in great support of that event, and we were able to donate $22,000 to NF Midwest that year. Following that, uh, due to the public support and uh, request, uh, we determined that we should uh, continue to hold Sam Jam as a public event each year. And so it became an annual event. And uh, this past August, on August 28th, we held the seventh Sam Jam Music and Brewfest uh, again, involving live music, uh, beer and wine, food trucks, and silent auction uh, offerings. Uh, the event this year was a little different. It was held outside. Previously, it had been held in a large barn-like building at the fairgrounds. We moved it outside and everyone enjoyed it. Uh, we had a, a fairly sizable turnout on a very, very hot day this year. So, uh, the people that came uh, found that it was more comfortable than they expected it to be with uh, plenty of tents and shade that we created for the event. Uh, Sam is not out of the woods yet, even though we continue to celebrate uh, his successful treatment. In the last year, he's had two additional surgeries. He had a tumor removed from his chest and another tumor removed from his leg that was a recurrence of some of the tumor tissue from eight years ago. The one thing we try to make sure that everyone's aware of is that the fundraising we do with Sam Jam is uh, not just about Sam. Uh, first of all, we're raising money for NF Midwest. We're having a wonderful event that's a great time for everyone who attends, everyone enjoys themselves, and yet we're able to raise additional money for NF Midwest. The other important factor is that it's a, a wonderful chance for some public awareness. So the people that attend Sam Jam leave with a better understanding of neurofibromatosis and what the symptoms may be and how many people really are affected or maybe not even diagnosed yet. So our hope is that through some of the public awareness that people are, are familiar enough that when they ran it, run into NF in their own family or in the community, that they have a better awareness of just what that involves and the extreme variance of symptoms between people that are afflicted with NF. Uh, the course of our, our NF experience here with uh, Sam Jam has been great. And in those seven years, we've been able to raise the money for NF Midwest. We hope that after our donation this year, that our total donations uh, since we began this effort will exceed $75,000. Uh, to NF Midwest. So we're very pleased with the success we've had and our ability to help support the services uh, and efforts of the organization NF Midwest. Uh, Sam, did you have anything you wanted to add? Uh, 
Just uh, please keep Sandram in mind for a fun weekend when we announce our new date on 2022. So yeah, we look forward to hopefully seeing all of you attending Sam Jam next year once we announce that date. Look forward to seeing you in 2022. Thank you.